ladies and gentlemen, they are trying to pin Antifa on Black folks. Antifa is not Black. We did not create that organization and we don't own it. Now, one thing we could never do in the past is fight back against the media propaganda. But now that we have social media online, we can push back hard against anything they try to pin on our community. This came out in Newsweek, August 29th, 2018. Trump warns of Antifa violence after midterm was about scary black people, says CNN Tubin. Trump warning to evangelical leaders about a violent backlash if Republicans lose November midterms election has been slammed as racist with one pundit commenting Trump's words were about scary black people. Well, Trump, you're going to lose. We did not create Antifa. We don't own it. And we're not going to let you get away with trying to pin Antifa on black people. The president made the comment in a private conversation with religious leaders with a recording of the conversation obtained by CNN, specifically suggesting that anti-fascist collective Antifa would be responsible for such violence. This November 6th election is very much a referendum on not only me, it's a referendum on your religion and a referendum on free speech and the First Amendment. Okay, it's a referendum on so much, Trump says, according to the recording. It's not a question of like or dislike. It's a question that they will overturn everything that we've done and they will do it quickly and violently and violently. There is violence. Oh my God. There is no one more violent in this country than the ones that have been violent for five centuries. Okay. Oh my God. They, they try to pin everything they do on other people. Everything. All right. Let's get back to this bullshit here. When you look at Antifa, these are violent people, he continued. You have tremendous power, the president told the pastors who were uh, gathered in the White House for a meal honoring evangelicals. It, it must be something demonic in that word because I always have a problem saying it. You were saying in this room, you have people who preach to almost 2 million people, depending on which Sunday we're talking about, which is not even the correct day. And like I said, Sunday is the most evil day of the week. But the president's comments were branded racist with CNN's Jeff Tubin commenting on Tuesday night that Trump's decision to suggest Antifa would react violently, smacked, of discrimination. Let's be clear also about what's going on here, Tubin said in a panel discussion with Wolf Blitzer. There's a theme here. I'm Donald Trump. I'll protect you from the scary Black people. Antifa is widely perceived as an African-American organization. That is a lie from the pits of hell. That is a lie. And if Antifa was a black organization, how come y'all done spent the last few years talking about Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter? You never brought up one time Antifa being a black organization. Y'all are a bunch of freaking liars and you are going to get heavy pushback from us on this. You ain't going to get away with trying to pin Antifa on black people. You won't get away with it. This is just part of the same story of LeBron James and Don Lemon and Maxine Waters and the NFL and the UCLA basketball players. This is about black versus white. 
This is about Donald Trump's appeal to racism. And it just happens all the time. And we never say it. We don't say it enough for what it is. But that's what what's going on here, he added. Trump has obviously slammed Antifa, referencing his much criticized comment that there was violence on both sides during the white supremacist rally in Charlottesville. Although he dialed back on his comments at the time, the president later told reporters, I think especially in light of the advent of Antifa, <clears throat> if you look at what's going on here or there, you would have some pretty bad dudes on the other side also. And essentially, that's what I said. Because of what happened since then with Antifa, when you look at uh, really what's happening since Charlottesville, a lot of people are saying and people have actually written, gee, Trump may have a point. I said there's some very bad people on the other side also, he added. The Washington Post reported at the time. No, Antifa is not black. It's not black and you just try to imply it once again and you will see the high level of pushback you would get. We are not out there in high numbers at those rallies. Yes, there are some black people out there, but they sure are not all of Antifa. And you can look at the hands when they're fighting. You can see their bare hands that those are white guys primarily in Antifa. Okay, and you can see their faces. They don't have their whole head covered up. You can see eyes, you can see their face, you can see their hands, and they're apparently pale. And those few black people out there, that's on them. But Antifa is not a black organization. Don't you even try it. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.